The Acadian poutine is a traditional food that was created hundreds of years before the more common French fries with cheese and gravy that is served in fast food restaurants today. To make the genuine Acadian poutine, you'll need about a pound of white potato for every single poutine. We're making 50 poutines today, so we'll start with a 50 pound bag of large potatoes. We bought washed potatoes from Pierre Bourgeois Farm in Granding, New Brunswick. Another ingredient for the center of the poutine ball is diced pork. Some people also put dried raisins with the pork. You'll also need to have a trash can nearby for peelings and a pail or container to hold the water squeezed out of the shredded potatoes. If you're making a large batch of poutines, you'll also use a couple of large plastic buckets. And you'll use a shredder or food processor, some regular table salt, and a knife or potato peeler. A new and washed pillowcase is also a necessity for making this Acadian delicacy. And of course, you'll require a stove with one or two pots for boiling the recipe. Once all the materials are ready, it's time to peel. If the potatoes are large, chop them in half and place them in the plastic buckets with water to keep the potatoes from turning color. One third of the potatoes will be boiled and mashed, and two thirds of the potatoes will be grated or shredded. You may want to start boiling the pot of potatoes as you get started with the shredding. The cooking potatoes need to be salted. Acadians originally used a metal sheet poked with numerous nail holes to shred the potatoes. We use a special blade for the food processor that shreds it in the same way but saves lots of time. Note, any old shredder blade may not work and the patins could break apart during boiling if the wrong blade is used for the shredding. The shredded or grated potatoes have to have much of the water squeezed out to be just right. Traditionally, the potatoes were put into a clean linen pillowcase, and we've done that, but made the work easier with a mop strainer over a pot or bucket to collect the water. One or two pulls of the lever and the work is done. You won't be saving the water, just the strained potatoes. Once the boiled potatoes are ready, mash them until there are no chunks. Whip them by hand almost to the point they feel creamy. Then, taking care not to scald yourself with the hot potato mash, mix it with the shredded potatoes as hot as your hands can stand without scalding by turning and folding it like this. Now, rolling a patin is a real skill, and Alicia has done it for a few years, but watch how she rolls it into a ball, then punches a center area. Then, put a couple of tablespoons of the diced pork into the center and roll the patin into shape. Make the patins all about the same size, about fist size, like this one. Now add the patins to the boiling water from a plate, very gently. Be careful not to splash the hot water. They'll just float as they cook. Now wait under a gentle boil only, with the cover on the pot, until the patins are done. You'll know they're done when some of the patins start sinking below the surface. Serve with or without some of the liquid, that's personal preference. Most of us like it with a tablespoon or two of brown sugar on top, but experiment. Some prefer to top their patin with molasses or maple syrup, even ketchup or vinegar. We hope you'll enjoy this Acadian tradition.